Hello everyone, so today I am going to show you a very interesting practical. We are going to integrate machine learning with Docker. Means I am going to uh, use machine learning model inside Docker container and I am going to predict the result. I, what I am going to do here is I am going to train the model here. Then I would uh, just share that trained model to my Docker con uh, container and there I am going to predict it. In my other practical, I have shown you how to install Jupyter Notebook inside Docker container so that you can code there also. So let's go to get st uh, started. Let's first of all, we have to import pandas and here I have my data set Indian population 2021.csv. It have the population of India from 1950 to 2021. So it's a latest data set. So let's do it. Data set has been loaded. Let's see what is in data set. So here it is showing the year, the population on that year and the growth rate with which growth rate uh, here in 2021 was in 2017 it was something like that. So here it is. So what I am putting in my X as year as well as growth rate and I am going to predict population. If means uh, see growth rate can be uh, different and different. We can see look okay if we move with this much growth rate so what would be population in 2030 so we can predict like this. So let's see, I have put it uh, X, in X I have put it year and growth rate, so let's see how X look like. So here it is, and in Y we, we are going to put population, and let's see how it look like. Wow, that's good. So here it is, uh, everything is going fine. On my skill and here I am uh, importing train test split, so that I can split my data set into training data set and testing data set. So the size of my test uh, testing data set would be 30%. Let's do it. And here from SQL and linear model, I'm putting linear regression. Here I'm calling linear regression. Here I'm fitting my model. Uh, so what I'm putting here is my X training data set and Y training data set and it's been done. Let's see what the coefficient we have got. This is the coefficient we have got this much affect uh, uh, the year means if year increase this much population increase and this is about growth rate. Uh, let's see here how uh, means here what I'm going to do is here in my model I'm going to predict about X test data set means X test uh, in X test I have all of those which I haven't given to my model yet so let's see so this is the uh, this is the population which it is predicting right now and let's match it with the actual population which it should be and here you can see as it was in so much decimals that's why it is using e but that's okay you can match it 1.34 and this 1.133 is matching 4.35 444 1097 it's 111 something like that so it's matching i think i've got, got a good accuracy so let's what uh, just quickly uh, import job leap and i'm going to dump this model in population.pk1 file so i have done this so that right now in population.pk1 file i have my model train model so let's uh, go to here in my virtual machine and here i'm going to show you everything from here so here i have three things which is a docker file so that i can create an image and here i have created a app file with the pipe so user have to come here and uh, he or she have to just put the year and the growth rate and model will predict for him and here i have that the same uh, train model which uh, i had created just now so what i'm going to do here is uh, just let me show you my docker file so here it's look like from i'm using the base os as cent os and here i'm going to install first of all python 3 so that i can learn i can run that python app as well as i can uh, import that job lib and that model and i can predict and the second thing i'm importing here is sklearn so that i can import job lib module and here i'm copying that uh, Mm, app file which I have created to this directory in my image uh, in my image container and here I am also copying that uh, train model file also that's a very simple thing okay let me show you about my app file also how it look like so it's here it is just a simple thing here uh, first of all it is asking uh, this much this thing and then here it is asking to in input about the year then input about the growth rate and here it is, it is importing job lib then it is uh, uh, loading the model and then it is uh, just giving the output that's all so let's get started okay so let's build the image now so docker build 
Okay, I'm saying machine learning uh, model population. Okay, so I think this is uh, okay. Let me give a tag, and here we go. So sorry, here I have to use uh, hyphen tag, and here I'm using a version, and here we go. So it is going to build the image for us. So it's saying that uh, there is no option Y. So okay, it's by mistake. So it's by my mistake. I think I have used the Y option. That's why it's showing to here. Yeah, I'm Docker. I'm just going here again, and just I'm uh, removing this thing. Uh, I think now it would be very much fine. So let me clear my screen and let me run this again. Let me again. Okay, so it's uh, image being successfully built and that's very good so let's launch now so let me clear my screen and so let's first of all see uh, docker images where it is so it would be machine learning model population version 1 is here 51 second ago it's been built so let's launch it docker run hyphen id let's give the image name it is ml uh, model model dot uh, version 1 so here we go now we are inside our image uh, let me clear my screen and uh, if you will see here then uh, you can see I have that app.py file as well as I have population.pk1 also so here we have to just run this app.py file so let's see python 3 app dot py and here we go it is asking for welcome to the indian population prediction app so enter the year i am saying okay let's see what will happen in 2030 let's see it asking the growth rate with which growth rate you are expecting let's me say one simple zero or something like that now it is analyzing analyzing and it's going to predict it has model and here it is predicted uh, as these are not errors these are some warnings so okay here the our mean has to come it is seeing something like 153 crores or something like that it is seeing, means we are right now 130 i think 20 crore would be more <laughs> okay 